Hello, in this video I will be talking about a topic that I recently discussed and it was a bit of a confusion because uh, I, w I didn't really script it or write it out but I took a few notes this time. Um, let's try to get through this. I'm sorry about last one. And Do you need to be a programmer in 2020? And the short answer is no. You do not need to be a programmer in 2020. Programming is another expense in business, you know, it's another expense and just like shipping, just like manufacturing, just like advertisement, just like repairs, just like maintenance and uh, programming is a means to a goal. But what is the ultimate goal in any business and the ultimate goal in any business is sales and there's many ways to achieve the same goal, whether it's through a website or whether it's through you know in person whether there's there's many ways to achieve that goal but the ultimate goal is sales um time is money so the loss of time is also a loss in money if you're uh if you have a company already and you're like i need to make a website for my company so that i can reach more people well there's already s so many different companies out there that uh, will make a website for you with little to no effort at a very low cost uh, compared to you taking time off work to learn how to program which may take you years uh, so you know like um, there's there's companies out there that will help you make a website it'll be much more secure it'll probably look a lot better than any website that you'll ever make um, you know um, Programming is just another expense in business and the ultimate goal in a business is to make sales. I've seen other videos where they're like, do you need to be a programmer after the age of 50? Do you need to be a programmer after the age of 40? Do you need to be a programmer after the age of 30? And my answer to that is no, you, you don't need to be a programmer any more than you need to be a truck driver. Uh, if, if you're an entrepreneur and you have a business and, and you're like, oh man, I'm going to learn how to drive a big rig so I can make these deliveries you're actually losing money because while you're driving around town making deliveries you could be thinking about new sales strategies going into new markets making sales in new markets and, and you just you know you just hire uh, one of the big companies that you know that could make deliveries for you and and um, let's say that you're like oh my shipping costs are through the roof well that means that you're very successful you know, if you if your shipping costs are through the roof, then that means that you're ma you're doing a lot of sales. And even then, buying your own truck wouldn't be a good idea because they're expensive. And then you have to hire a driver, just waiting around most of the time. And then that driver can't be going in different directions at the same time. But if you hire one of the companies that already exist, there can be multiple drivers going in different directions at the same time. So your your focus here is to to focus on sales. If you're over the age of 50, you have a huge advantage over most other people because um, people that are older tend to be more trustworthy. They tend to know more about what it is people want out of a out of a product. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of companies fail because they don't have a a, a clear understanding of sales. Uh, this goes with many companies. It doesn't have to be just a tech company. It, it, let's say that you have a painting company and you guys paint houses. And you could have fantastic painters, like the best painters. But if you don't have a good sales team or a good sales strategy, then your company is not going to be successful. Or let's be more... Like, like say you're working for yourself and you are an artist and you make masterpieces or you're a sculptor and you make masterpieces and you could be an amazing artist you know or amazing sculptor but if you don't make sales then you're not going to be very successful right so it's at the end of the day it's all about making sales i promise you that most of the companies that no longer exist it was not because they didn't have talented programmers it was not because they did not have talented mechanics it wasn't because they did not have talented plumbers it was most like they didn't have a talented marketing team or they didn't have a talented sales representative. Um, the goal of a sales representative is to communicate with the customer 
and and ultimately the customer is always right right and so if you're a sales representative and you're having a difficult time making that sale it's your job to go back to the programmer and tell the the customer's not looking for this give give the customer what they want and and so you as a sales representative you have to be in understanding like oh they're not buying that what they're really looking for is this and then and then the mechanic or the programmer or whatever they they have to take whatever you tell them so if anything uh you as a sales representative are is are more important than any programmer all the programmers in the world are not going to make a sale if they don't know what the customer wants and at that point they're no longer programmers they're salesmen now um you're like oh i don't like talking to people i just hate people i i'm not a people person just tell me what to do then yeah programming might be a better choice for you but if you like helping people and you like talking to people and you like solving problems then sales might be better and people are like oh but my income will increase if i become a programmer that's not true that's not true because you have to understand that it takes years of investment to become a programmer and and the salary that you get after the fact is just a reimbursement of all the time energy that you spent you're just being reimbursed for that you might not be making any more money than if you were working in sales for uh you know, what's the word i'm looking for um for incentive uh, i forgot the word um anyways so sales is the most important thing to focus on in the year 2020 in the year 2050 in the year 3000 uh, technologies will change uh, manufacturing processes will change what won't change is the ability to sell can you sell whatever it is that you're trying to sell whether it's a service a product uh anything it's all about sales um so yeah i hope this was more useful than confusing but do you need to be a programmer in the year 2020 no you don't need to be a programmer in the year 2020 programming is just a means to a goal and time is money and the loss of time is a loss of money um that being said i hope you guys found this useful oh, my throat is really dry I'm gonna drink some chocolate milk it's just it's delicious chocolate milk is delicious now <coughs> i hope you guys found this useful please hit that like and subscribe button and uh be on the lookout for more um uh rants i guess about um do you need to be this do you need to be that and stuff like that we'll also be discussing different programs programming languages uh different marketing strategies we'll be looking back at all the companies that are no longer with us and uh, we'll be looking at the marketing decisions that they made and i promise you it wasn't that they didn't have a fantastic product it was more like their sales representatives weren't listening to the customer and pivoting or whatever so um that being said bye